Okay, thank you very much, uh, Nico. Nico Dennis, our ambassador diamond uh, from Australia for inviting me to evenings uh, discover ASEAN Global Breakthrough Opportunity presentation. Uh, my name is uh, Paul Tek An. I'm the founder, Diamond Club member of ASEAN Malaysia. And I have been an entrepreneur since 1986, uh, building several business, some successful, some not so successful, and uh, some I failed miserably. But I have the opportunity to be able to build a successful business and uh, sort of to a public listed company in Malaysia. And uh, over the last uh, 30 plus years, I've been involved uh, both as a corporate and a few leader in network marketing and at the same time uh, with public listed company in Malaysia. So in the last uh, 30 years uh, of my personal experience as an entrepreneur, I still find that uh, network marketing is one of the better options for aspiring entrepreneurs or for entrepreneurs who actually want to build big businesses. And uh, with today's technology, we can build a global business with uh, the network marketing opportunity if you have the right platform. In fact, last year, I was introduced to the ASEAN Global Business Opportunity uh, by a very good friend of mine, uh, Derek Chiu, who actually told me that ASEAN is going to be launching into the Philippines and Malaysia market and invited me to be the pioneer leader. And I got very excited, but I did not meet up with him until he insists that I got to meet up with him in Singapore. And while I was down in Singapore, he shared with me a lot of amazing a lot of amazing, amazing testimony about ASEA, uh, which I am not so convinced it was amazing. Uh, but until when he shared with me the science behind ASEA and the top technology behind ASEA, which is backed up by uh, a lot of scientific studies and third party validation, that's where I pay a lot of interest in it. Particularly when I learned that uh, ASEA is the only company in the world that uh, created and stabilized the redox cell signaling molecules. Uh, that really excited me as an entrepreneur and immediately I seized the opportunity uh, to take up ASEA as one of my business opportunity. ASEA to me is a category creator and ASEA is also a purpose-driven company knowing the founders of the company and I believe that it's going to be a legacy company, a billion dollar legacy company in the next five to ten years. So. Tonight, I'm going to uh, invite you all to actually discover how you can actually benefit uh, from the most significant anti-aging health uh, breakthrough of our lifetime and how you too can actually create another source of income, particularly during this uh, uh, crisis, COVID-19 crisis through the ASEAN Global Business Opportunity. And of course, there are plenty of other benefits like lifestyles, uh, holidays that you can uh, be rewarded with uh, when you join ASEAN. Uh, you can travel for free. You can also have uh, free ASEA products uh, through the ASEA uh, loyalty programs by sharing, by just sharing ASEA with your friends and your relatives, right? So tonight, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to share with you the ASEA Breakthrough Global Opportunity, how it could work best for you. Uh, before we look into the presentation proper, I'm going to ask you uh, this question: What are your choices? Uh, practically, we have uh, two major choices. Uh, that we, uh, we choose for our life. Uh, number one is that uh, we can work a job, uh, we can work for, uh, uh, for yourself. Someone once says that if you are working a job, it stands for just overbroke. J-O-B stands for just overbroke. So what you do is that beginning of the month, you will work very, very hard and uh, just to work for the paychecks. And at the end of the month, what you normally do would be uh, to take the paychecks and start paying the bills. Uh, you start to pay your credit card bills, your your mortgage bills, and whatever residual bills every month that you're committed to pay, you would have to pay. So here, when you really look at the top right-hand side corner of these particular slides, you see traffic jams. It just reminds me of uh, me going down to Manila, uh, looking at all those people who are working a job, more often than not, uh, they would actually uh, clock in uh, and clock out at nine, uh, clock at 9, clock out at 5, every day, day in and day out in the run. So, when you are working a job, of course you have a set income. Uh, every month you have a set income. I know that some of us uh, who are under the MCO, which is the movement control order right now, uh, do also collect uh, salary despite that there is lockdown, business can be operated. But however, 
we really talk about job security, a lot of people are losing their job right now because of the COVID-19 uh, crisis. And the other thing that I learned about uh, working a job is that your employee will often just pay you enough just to keep you to work for the company. So here again, I say if you are uh, working in uh, the Philippines, like in Manila, you'll be hitting the gyms, like in Bangkok, uh, Thailand, or whether in Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, it's never, never fun just to have to clock in at nine, clock out at five every day, like the majority of the people. Uh, what about uh, working uh, a business, owning your own business? Owning your own business, you have control. I can see on the top uh, right hand corner, showing that man is actually owning his own business. Uh, you are your own boss, and uh, and uh, the disadvantage of uh, working for yourself is this: you need a financial outlay, of course. Uh, you need plenty of money to start business. Uh, running costs, you have to be committed uh, to set aside weekly, uh, monthly or yearly operational running costs to maintain and run your business. So the other thing is that the responsibility, you have a big responsibility. You have to take 100 responsibility to manage your business and you have to take charge and take care of your business matter, your office management, your operation, your finance, your staff. And uh, right now, even during the MCO or the uh, lockdown uh, during this COVID-19 crisis, you are still committed to make sure that your staff will pay are taken care of and you still have to pay them salary. So that really strives a lot of uh, uh, com company, a lot of business to go out of business because they just cannot afford to keep up with the commitment ahead of them. So many went bankrupt. I see many of my friends went bankrupt. Uh, um, voluntarily and at the same time many of them uh, have to shut down the business as a result of it. So here again like a lot of people want to be their own boss, wanted to start their own business and it's never easy to uh, start your own business. I've been in business since 1986 and uh, to start a business is not easy. Uh, like I mentioned a while ago, sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes you succeed, sometimes you fail. And uh, one of the best friend, uh, business that you can be part of is the franchise business. And I've been involved in the franchise business for a while and this is what I found out. There is a statistic that shows that uh, all franchisees, even they have a proven system of success, a proven operating system, a lot of people would not be succeeding. One third of them would succeed, one third of them would just break even and one third would actually fail miserably. So, Having said this, how many of you still dream of starting your own business, wanting uh, to become your own boss? Of course, there's a lot of people wanted to, right? Including me in 1986, after a year uh, working as a sales agent for a company, uh, as a sales agent, you don't get paid on the, uh, uh, on the salary. You get paid based on commission for uh, sales that you bring to the company. So I was trained as an entrepreneur at a very young age, and. Uh, and uh, guess what? I have a dream that I wanted to be my own boss. And one day when I was in the office after coming back from a hot day, and I saw my boss actually sitting inside his uh, air-conditioned room, nice with a nice high-back chair, with his two hands folded behind his head, he was leaning on the high-back chair. I said, how I wish that someday I also be my own boss. Little did I know that after I become my own boss, when you put your two hand on your forehead, leaning on a high back chase, you are actually looking at uh, the piles of views in front of you. The piles of documents, the piles of problems in front of you, as you can see on the left hand side, bottom corner of the picture. It is uh, talking about, you know, how do you get ahead uh, of your life? Uh, it, it looks like sometimes it's so impossible because there are so much views that have to be paid. Uh, there are challenges ahead of you right so the bottom right hand corner you see a group of young people i still remember in 1986 i met a stranger and this is very interesting and uh, this stranger actually shared with me a very interesting study he said that if you were to take a group of young people at the age of 15 and look at where they would be at the age of 65 meaning 50 years and they discovered that out of the 100 people, 62 of them would be alive at the age of 65. Thank God we are alive at age 65. And guess what? Out of the 62 of them, 38 of them were broke. No money. 
at the age of 65. 16 of them at the age of 65 still have to go out there to work a job. And seven retired on livable income uh, from their saving, maybe from their employee provident fund or their retirement fund. Only one person become wealthy and successful. You see, only one out of the hundred people become wealthy and successful. Many of us must be asking, how was that one wealthy person being able to achieve success in life? What was his formula for success? And I believe that every one of us here want to know that formula. And this is what I learned, all right? He said, if you want to become successful, you need to know what you want. You need to have goals. You need to have dreams. You really need to know what you want. And uh, the next thing that you need is you need to be willing to put in the effort to get in. A lot of people have dreams, they fantasize, but not willing to put even a simple little effort of taking the action. They will never achieve the success that they desire. The last aspect of it, which is to me one of the very, very important elements for success, that is to have the right opportunity. In the last 30 years as an entrepreneur, actually I've been uh, looking at a lot of people that I meet, uh, that I, I can be known. A lot of people do have big dreams and big goals. A lot of people, especially I see people like the Filipino in the Philippines, people that in Malaysia and in many, many other countries, they really, really have big dreams and they work very, very hard. But they did not achieve the success because they have the wrong opportunity. It has been said that if you continue to do what you have always done, you will continue to get what you have always gotten. So the important thing is to really look at this formula and to look at where is the missing link uh, that is uh, happening to you to prevent you to achieve the success that you want for your life. I know that every one of us here want to be successful. So like, let's start and uh, talk about some of the things that we really want. Let's look at some of the goals for our family. The goals of a family can be owning your own home, uh, providing the best uh, education for your children, having great holidays, or spending extended time with your family members, or maybe just working towards uh, retiring rich and happy. When you look at the top right hand corner, can you imagine owning your own home, a home of your dream? in the location that you choose, the design, the decor, and the furnishings of your choice. And uh, what about sending your child for education? I've got two kids. I still remember when I was young. I never had the opportunity to further my study because my family was poor. And I did not do very well in class. And of course, I applied for a lot of scholarship, but I never had the opportunity to further my study. So when I raised up my two sons, I always wanted to provide the best for them. And uh, of course, education in overseas is never cheap. Like for my two boys, studying in England is never, never cheap for a Malaysian particularly. And uh, to be able to see them being able to fulfill and realize their dreams and uh, fullest potential is something that I desire. And being able to travel around the world is something that I wanted for me and my family. Being able to spend a lot of time going up to different countries, enjoying different food, different culture, you know, just be there and experience uh, what they are doing, the locals are doing down there. And of course, uh, spending extended time uh, with your extended family, your parents, and retiring rich and happy. What about the lifestyle goals? Being able to uh, pursue your hobby, all right? Being able to drive the car, the dream. Being able to uh, go shopping without looking at the price tag or go dining without looking at the right hand side of the menu where you look at the price. And uh, of course for me, uh, a lot of time people ask me, what is my dream car? Cars is never something that I uh, have a strong desire for. But he always asks me this question, if money is not an object, what type of car would you be driving? What type of brand of car and model would you how would you be driving? Would you want to drive a better car? And I'm pretty sure that many of you here would say yes. And even going out shopping, being able to bring a loved one to go shopping or uh, without looking at the price tag or even buying things and give it to uh, your friends, your relatives and those people who are in need, that would be amazing. But one of the last pictures that you see at the top 
right hand bottom corner is advancing life uh, being able to give to charity be able to participate in the cause being able to like uh, build a house to habitat for humanity which i once was involved with or if you do not have a charitable body that you're involved with maybe you can actually choose to join us here and be part of the advancing life uh, foundation projects where they go out to help the needy and this is a goal that we all should be pursuing the last one is talking about our ultimate goal at the end of the day to pursue all these dreams and all these goals we need to have uh, time and money to pursue them it has been said that there are four different group of people in this world the first group are the people that they have no time and no money the second group is that they have plenty of time but they have no money and more often than not this group are the students am i right they are the students they have plenty of time but they don't have the money then when they got their degree and they started to work and uh, if they are professional they will arrive at a group called a group where they have a lot of money but no time they have plenty of money but they are not able to actually pursue the dream because no time but imagine can you ask someone like that uh, to take off uh, uh, a month off just to go for a holiday can they do it right if they are working a job or if they are professional if they are exchanging the time for money chances is that they can't and it is really really fun like for me last year uh, to be able to travel to uh, uk and europe you know for a whole month doing uh, just holiday and that was fun and i really want to do that again and i believe that asia can help me to bring, make the dreams come true right and of course, the last group of the people that every one of us here want to be arriving at at the end of our life journey is to be able to do something that we can have plenty of time and uh, plenty of money. All right. Can you imagine right now you have plenty of time or plenty of money? Uh, you have the money to live the way you choose. You can uh, travel around the world. You can plan for your future. You can save money, you can invest the money, you can retire, you can uh, invest the money to earn residual income, you can take a lot of the money that you make and go out there and give it away to help charity. That would be fun, am I right? So, what a Steer Global Breakthrough Opportunity uh, is all about is that it's designed to provide you the ability to have more time and more money to achieve what we call your financial uh, personal freedom and uh, financial independence and these are the two very important uh, what I call uh, things that we want to achieve at the end of our life journey we have the freedom of time to be financially independent all right so here knowing what you want is not good enough to achieve success you must be willing to put in the effort the second part of the formula we talked about is after you have set goals you need to put in the effort what can I assure you here is that at ASEA you are in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So you are not like uh, building any traditional or conventional business. You are building a passionate business that allows you to leverage your time to create wealth, predetermined by the level of your effort that you are going to put in. And of course, like I mentioned a while ago, ASEA is totally different from any of the conventional business that uh, you, are, you are going to be involved with, all right? So ASEA, you build together with a team of talented, gifted people that can help you together. I mentioned you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. The principle that we subscribe by in building our ASEA business is that if we want to become successful, we need to help you to become successful. And it's our desire to help every one of us in the team to build a global business and to help them to become successful. All right. So the last component of the uh, uh, formula for success that I'm going to share with you here is the opportunity. Finding the right opportunity to achieve success uh, we desire, we desire. It has been said that opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Someone once says that. But I choose to believe that opportunity do come every three to five. So that's the reason when you read in my books, I write, I always have what we call the WOO, which stands for window of opportunity. And I always take three years to look at the window of opportunity and having and I always evaluate it based on this particular formula that if I continue to do something that I'm not going to get any results, I got to change. So tonight, we are going to present to you the ASEA Global Business Opportunity. It may be an opportunity for you to rethink 
and to look at the opportunities that you have right now in your hand. Is it helping you to get from where you were in the past to where you actually wanted to be? If not, maybe tonight you will see that ASEAN can be your next big opportunity for you.